Hello everyone, it's Camille here and welcome to another video. Now I am super excited because today is the day I'm going to be seeing the FNAF movie. It is October 28th. The movie came out yesterday, but we couldn't see it because yesterday was our first and sadly last Volleyball States game. I know, I'm still like really really upset from it. I had such an incredible time learning the game and meeting some of the most amazing people. And I can't believe the next time I'll be playing the sport I will be a senior. Like that's just crazy to think about to me. But yeah, now we just got basketball season coming up. Anyways, back to Five Nights at Freddy's. So I am going with Phoebe to see the movie today. I'm super excited. We were supposed to have some other friends join us, but sadly they had some things come up last minute, so they can't, but it's fine. Phoebe and I both agreed to go still see the movie, but we still have a couple of hours. I just kind of wanted to explain what's going on now just to get it over with. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna talk to you all when we're gonna head out to the theater. All right, it is officially time for us to start heading to the theater, but we gotta pick up Phoebe first, of course. Guys, I'm here with Phoebe. The movie just ended. From the end scene credits. Okay, thoughts on movie? It was really good. The movie, no, like actually, it was so much better than I expected. No, like it was really good. What FNAF sticker should I use? <laughs> That was really good. But we have like so much time before we're getting picked up because it's like 40 minutes away from healing our house. Healing my inner child. No, seriously. Wait, what that was today? worth healing the wait. My inner child. She won't stop making FNAF TikToks. <laughs> okay. Wait, I bet I look so weird in that video. I'm probably like, ew. <laughs> Anyways, it kind of threw us off because what like happened in the movie didn't really go with the lore. But like, it didn't really go with the lore, Camille. Shut up. <laughs> but it was still good overall. Like, overall great movie. I think they should make a sister location one. Wait, can I hide? Can you record me while I hide? Really okay. But I recommend. I feel like my, my childhood was healed. But we're just gonna chill for now while we wait for her mom to pick us up. So I'll see you once I get back home. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little upset, okay? I got the tickets for two o'clock, okay? We get there at the theater a little bit before two o'clock, get our food. But when we get in the theater, the movie has already started. But I'm thinking to myself, oh, we probably like barely missed any of it. But no, we missed the scene that Matt Pat was in. You wanna know how I found out? Phoebe and I were talking about it in the car and we we're like, oh my gosh, Matt should have been in the movie. I look it up and apparently he was. So on the ride home, I just watched the scene that he was in. Another cameo was Corey. He killed it just as, just as we expected him to. Okay, skip this, skip this part right here if you don't want any spoilers because I'm gonna talk about something that's like spoiled in the movie kind of. Guys, I, when they announced in the movie Vanessa being Springtrap, William Afton's daughter, I'm not even joking, everyone in the theater gasped, including me. But like, I think that's just how they had the lore in the movie. Cause that's like different from everything we know about the games. Also, I really enjoyed this personally because like I've mentioned before, I've grown up with these games so I kind of know the whole storyline and lore of them. So I think Scott did a good job of making this for real FNAF fans. But yeah, I still really enjoyed the movie and it's like my inner childhood is healed. So yeah, that was my honest like thoughts and opinions on everything about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie and that's really all I got for this video. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Okay guys, I lied. The video's not over yet. It's been a couple hours and I just found out 
that the movie is available on Peacock. So I'm re-watching the parts that Phoebe and I missed. And apparently we missed like the first 50 minutes. I I don't know what happened. Like, like I said earlier, it said the movie was starting at 2. And we got there a little bit before 2. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if something was just wrong on the website where I got the tickets. But anyways, it's fine because now I can catch up on everything I missed. But I am gonna actually end the video here. I will see you all next time. Peace! Uh, broccoli.